not even an immovable object. It's just an unstoppable force versus an unstoppable force. We might end time and space when these two teams fight against each other. The 2019 Overwatch League Grand Finals. The culmination of four stages of hard-fought battles that yielded the two best teams in the world. The San Francisco Shock and the Vancouver Titans. The Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia echoed with the raucous cheers and shouts of fans after every big play. But nothing made the crowd shout louder than a bastion play made by the SF Shock's architect on Eichenwald. The way the rocket jump works is simple. Bastion's rockets have a knockback effect when they explode. Bastion can use this knockback effect on himself to greatly increase the height of his jump. A great tool for repositioning and catching opponents off guard. There's no doubt that Architect's rocket jump looked cool, but how exactly did it help his team? Right before the rocket jump, the Shock were about to round the final corner of Eichenball. With the Shock's supercharger active, the Vancouver Titans had to fall back to defend from the safety of cover and cut the Bastion's line of sight. So, as the Titans got pushed back, Architect had to move in. His first spot gave him a pretty good angle on the fight, but there were still many lines of sight that he couldn't cover. Bastion does his best when he has long, open sight lines to work with, especially if he's on the high ground. To get on the chandelier, Bastion would normally need a little boost from his mech, Rascal. But with Rascal busy in the fight and his ice wall on cooldown, Architect had to get up there himself. And once he got up there, the Shock owned the battlefield. With a Bastion overseeing the whole fight and cutting off all of Vancouver's paths from spawn, there was little that the Titans could do to fight their way out. Architect forced the enemy Reaper back and deleted the May with a couple of rockets before transforming back into sentry mode. Vancouver's Tizzy rolled back as Wrecking Ball to stall, but when your hitbox is literally a giant circle, you're not gonna last long against a Chandelier Bastion. Janu was next to challenge for the Titans, but facing a totally uncontested Bastion, all he could do was stare at him, with his defense matrix up as the rest of the shock tore him to pieces. After Tizzy and Janu fell, their teammate Twilight actually managed to put Bastion to sleep for a little bit. But with so many of the Titans already dead, and the shock all over the point, it's like Architect didn't even mind the quick power nap. By the time he woke up, his teammates had already secured the payload. So all that was left for him to do was spray away and finish off the stragglers.